Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I've got a cute and simple thank you card for you today. Thank you, E-U-E, -E, so much. I love all things punny. This card features the Hippo Happiness Bundle. The Hippo Happiness Stamp Set is a 27-piece photopolymer stamp set, and you can bundle it up with the Hippo and Friends dies. Now this die set is amazing. Let me show you a little resource here. So this is the Hippo and Friends dies. Uh, they include little dies, to cut out your stamped image, like our little U, but also these amazing labels. So here's the swoopy square that we're gonna use today. There's four nested rectangles with clip corners, three nested swoopy squares, and three nested, I don't know, what are these, rectangle ovals? Really cool die set, and then you can save 10% when you buy it with the Hippo Happiness stamp set. All right, let's get to work here on our card. My card base is Purple Posy. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and then folded. All the measurements that you need for this project will be available on the project sheet on the blog. If you're watching on YouTube, click Project Details, It'll take you to the blog. The project sheet, printable with all the measurements, is a clickable link right underneath the embedded video. And there's always a project sheet. The first thing I wanna do is stamp a little detail on the back of this card. We're gonna use Highland Heather and the little butterfly from the Hippo and Friends. Got my stamp and pierce mat here. That's gonna give us a, our best impression. And we're just gonna stamp three little fluttering butterflies. Two up high, one in the bottom corner. While we're stamping, let's keep going, shall we? All right, I've got a scrap of Whisper White cardstock here. I'm gonna grab Bumblebee. It's a new in color and Magenta Madness. We're gonna make our sheep yellow and pink. And then I'm gonna do their faces in Misty Moonlight. So it is a in color tour here. We'll start with our bumblebee sheep. Let me grab a little piece of my Stampin' Up grid paper here because we are gonna do second generation stamping. So we're gonna ink up in bumblebee. We're going to stamp the sheep off on our scratch paper and then on our cardstock. Then we need our little sheep pajamas. Got bumblebee. And we're going to just layer that right up on top. And now we've got a two tone bumblebee sheep. Isn't that adorable? All right, give that a second to dry before we put the face on. I've got a half inch strip here. It's just a scrap. You'll probably want about three and a half inches. Just jade ink. We've got almost all the ink colors now. And thank you so much. The greeting, also from Hippo Happiness. We're going to stamp that one. We want about, I'd say, an inch from the left hand side. So cute. I love that whimsical font. Now let's grab our simple chamois here. We're gonna take our bumblebee sheep and clean it up because we're gonna move to Magenta Madness. So just wipe off the bumblebee ink. Let's make another little sheep. Magenta Madness, stamp off, and then we'll get a second generation sheep. And then we're gonna do our sheep pajamas full strength. That magenta madness is screaming. I love it. All right, let's clear away everything except for Misty Moonlight. We need to put their little faces on our U's, our Sheps, our U's. Got my thank you so much banner. I'll give this just one more minute. I want their faces to be nice and crisp. And if you stamp on wet ink, their faces are going to blend. They're going to smudge just a little bit. They're going to stretch. And um, so we're going to stamp on completely dry ink. And how we're going to do that is by just taking our time in between stamping the Bumblebee Magenta Madness layers and the Misty Moonlight face. So I just did a little... Um, dovetail end on my thank you so much greeting 
And now let's go ahead and we're gonna stamp our face on the bumblebee sheep first. The, we've got Misty Moonlight and we've got these first generation little sheeps over here so we can just make sure we like the way everything's stamping, give it a practice. And then add the little face. And our Magenta Madness one too. There they are. Aren't they just so cute? And the detail you get just by that second generation, first generation ink technique and the little faces in a contrasting color. It's so awesome. All right, let's grab our big shot. We're gonna do some die cutting next. Got my machine here, my little lamb. It's gonna take two passes through the machine. We're gonna line up our die so that all the edges of the stamp image touch the edge of the die and then I've got a little bit of low tack tape here a little washi tape I'm gonna tape down my die so I've got my bumblebee cardstock and my swoopy square I'm gonna run both of those then I'll cut out my second little lamb all right I've got two little U's magenta madness and bumblebee I did a little bit of die cutting ahead of time. A little die cutting and punching, actually. Let me show you what I've got here. I've got a Just Jade scallop circle. We cut that one ahead of time with the layering circles. It's the two and a quarter inch, so it's right in the middle. And I love to layer the two and a quarter inch scallop with the two inch circle punch. So we just cut a Magenta Madness circle, two inches using the two inch circle punch. And then for our top layer, I've got a piece of Whisper White and it's cut with the layer or the stitched shapes. This is the one and seven eighths inch stitched circle. And they make a really awesome set of layers. Let's go ahead and glue all those guys together. Just using my dry adhesive and centering these three right on top of each other. Now let's talk about our designer series paper. We're just going to slide everybody to the side for a minute. I've got a scrap of Magenta Madness in color designer series paper. This is uh, the 2020-2022 in color paper and it's just a scrap. We're going to die cut that one using this um, fun primitive heart and that is from the stitched be mine. It's the biggest primitive one without stitches. Let's pop that right through the die cut machine and there it is. Now we've also got a strip here of flowers for every season designer series paper. It's a multicolor floral and this one is three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter. We're going to dovetail that one just like we did our Whisper White Sentiment. So go ahead and pop that guy in and give it chicken lips. Somebody taught me that on one of my mystery stamping, I think. Coffee and a mystery card. Chicken lips. Do you guys call it chicken lips or dovetail? All right, let's start layering our die cuts on our card base. The first thing I'm going to adhere together is my bumblebee layer. And I'm going to put some adhesive on the center of my primitive heart. And I'm going to layer it over the swoopy square here. I want just a bit of that little swoopy square to show at the cleave of the heart. Then we can add our just jade scallop, all those layers centered in that little swoopy square. Next up, thank you so much, our greeting. Let's go ahead and get that one on our card. That's going to be kind of the ground that our little U's stamp, or our little U's stand on. And put some adhesive on the back of this little cluster of layers. And we're going to put some adhesive on the back of our multicolor floral paper. The floral paper is going to go about a third of the way up 
It's still a little bit long, so I'm gonna cut the dovetail a little bit deeper. There we go. And a little bit downhill. Then our cluster of swoopy, our swoopy square layers. We're gonna add that over the floral. Got some Just Jade in color ribbon. I love this stuff. It's kind of thick. Um, it's got a little herringbone weave. Soft and easy to tie. It's a gorgeous match to all the new in colors. Let's tie a bow. Cut it away from the spool and clean up the loose end. I've got mini glue dot here. I'm going to go ahead and pick one of those up maybe two, and add that on the tail end of my sentiment, or stick it to my finger, whichever. <laughs> and lastly, our little U's. Let's put some dimensionals on the back. Got Steampin' Dimensionals on my U's. I'm gonna put my little Magenta Madness on the bumblebee side, kinda like she's jumping for joy. My little bumblebee on the Magenta Madness side, like she's jumping for joy. There it is. We did it. Thank you so much, Hippo Happiness Bundle. Thank you, Card. If you've got any questions about the project or the products, if there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And to shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.